why um, are, are we more sure now that a, a, a dinosaur would have a penis, a T-Rex would have a penis, for example? Well, Chris, it's simple, really. We don't have fossils of penises in, in dinosaurs. We mainly have their skeletons. But in some rare cases, we do have soft tissue of the cloaca, the opening where reproductive organs and waste material pass through. And we know that from living animals, the closest living thing to dinosaurs today are the crocodilians on one side, more primitive than dinosaurs, and living birds on the other side. We know that the most primitive living birds, such as the ostrich and the gooses and ducks, all have a penis, but it was lost in the more advanced flying birds. So because crocodilians have a penis and these basal birds have a penis, it's almost certainly that dinosaurs sitting in the middle of these groups also had a penis. And then how uh, could I imagine, um, say, a, a T-Rex's penis would look like? They're such big armoured animals. I, I guess it must have uh, been quite complicated to mate. Well, we can only guess from the biomechanics of the, of the skeleton and the structure of a T-Rex that it would have been hard for them to get cloaca to cloaca for mating. So they would have straddled each other, um, one behind the other. And in order to do that, there's still quite a large distance between those two cloacas, between the male and the female. So the penis must have come out of the cloaca of the male to be inserted into the female. From that, we can only deduce they must have been fairly large. And I use the Argentine lake duck as an example, uh, because the Argentine lake duck has the largest penis of any animal, uh, vertebrate animal that is, we know of. It's actually bigger in barnacles. But the Argentine lake duck can have a 43 centimeter penis for a regular sized duck. So, you know, maybe they had a very large penis like that. Technology is getting better. And these, there is these wonderful fossil finds. Of course, um, uh, a flaccid penis isn't as, as, as big as the, the erect version, but we'll, are we likely to get some uh, fossil evidence one day soon um, to kind of to, to end this argument forever? Dinosaurs had a penis full stop. I think we will because these exquisite fossil sites in the north of China from Liaoning province preserve complete small dinosaurs with beautiful soft tissue intact, including muscles and sometimes internal organs and things like that. So if the cloaca can be beautifully preserved, even with the pigment preserved around it, so we know it was black, then perhaps if we find the right piece of rock that splits with a male, we might find evidence of a penis in some of these um, predatory dinosaurs. Okay, well, we can we can uh, wait and hope. And if you want to read more about dinosaurs, um, you've got several books out. You've got one to show us right now, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I think. Well, this is the Australian version. It's called "Hung Like an Argentine Duck," and that wasn't my idea of the title. Uh, but the US and the more popular version is called "Dawn of the Deed," and that's for University of Chicago Press. And the Aussie version that you would have chosen would have been. Well, I just called it originally something like discovering prehistoric sex, but the editors <laughs> love the idea of hung like an Argentine duck. So that's the way it ended up. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Let me just My pray. pleasure, Chris.